Hey guys, we got a hilarious podcast for you today, but before we jump in, I have a quick word from today's sponsor, Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash wide open. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash wide open. Get your jingle balls ready for the holidays with Manscaped. Let's get into the podcast. What's Who wants up? to start today? Dude, I'll start. Yeah, because you weren't if, here last hey, week. Hey, it's nice to be back, but it's also nice to know that the show goes on even when you're on your deathbed. Yeah, it did. It went on, and you were on your deathbed. Dude, dude I was sick. I was down bad for, like, once we got back from Vegas, I was straight sick for the next six days. I have, uh, I've come up with a new name instead of the suds. The SEMA flu. Yeah, that Very was a good one. The SEMA flu, because everybody that went to SEMA got it. TJ Hunt was posting that he was sick. Uh, I think I even saw that Stradman was down. Somebody else uh, dude, that was... Some... I think it was just something in the air in Vegas. <laughs> the SEMA <laughs> like, flu was in the air, dude. But, like, everyone I've talked to that was that has been in Vegas in the last, like, month got home and got sick. Oh, God, dude. That Wait, sucks. I mean, going I, around? Guess. I was talking to Rich, because Rich was there with us, and he goes... Oh, yeah, dude. I was sick when I got there. Yeah, that sucked. You guys all got sick. And then he's just like, uh, and then I'm like, yeah, Ben's like really sick right now. He goes, huh, yeah, dude, I probably got him sick. That's funny. You'll have to let him know. <laughs> and I'm like, most people are like, I, I'm, you know, if I get someone sick, I feel bad. I, I, I try to keep it on the under wraps. If, if they don't know it was me. Rich, dude, it that way. Rich. Rich is like, yeah, you have to let him know. That's super funny. That's funny. Dude, I, I wasn't even bumming any of his darts either. <laughs> and that would have helped you, dude. <laughs> it might have helped me, dude. It is funny, though, how like all of us got sick except for Mike, who I would I would say would be like one of the more unhealthy members just because of like his habits and like yeah, his sleep so. patterns and like everything that none of my actions are like progressively healthy at right all. right at but all. everyone <laughs> got sick except for mike isn't it funny how that like it seems to always go like Don't that you, you have a method though i just lots of vitamin c vitamin d uh ibuprofen he lounges around on the pool table at 2 30 in the morning dude that's dude, that. we gotta yeah. i yeah i still haven't quite got to the bottom of that so i thought you did all right <laughs> so i was looking at the security camera footage from last night just like reviewing it over we got a new system so i was just kind of like messing around with it and i was like oh it's what, really high quality too what what what's the movement at 3 30 in the in the pine bay like the oh, living room at 3 30 well it started I mean, are at we, are one, we gonna it started here? at 1 i was not laying on there for two hours bro damn near <laughs> so i look at it the was footage over an hour and right? mike is laying lounging <laughs> on yeah, the flipping pool around table. he looks like he's at the beach on the pool up. table the funniest I'm part was me around. flipping around no you know how it kind of looks like in the start of like a 2000s teen movie the girl, the girl is like laying, on, the end laying of the on her bed like yeah. maybe yeah like texting yeah you were even what were you doing mike dude i was like the point of me even explaining what i was doing is like it's not even all right don't funny. tell me i want to just like i want to just keep this be have without <laughs> knowing what you were doing just like assuming that you were just no. like like i mean I like know. i already looking at pit bikes I already, <laughs> dude this I already, dude loves pit bikes bro on instagram i already told ben what i was doing earlier but like i just just genuinely not worth explaining my, my question mike is have you ever just had like just the smallest little thought go through your head and say you know, it's 2.30. The boys want to be here working 9 a.m. I'm laying on the pool table right now. I've been here for an hour now. <laughs> I was taking a break from working. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Did you actually go back to work after that? Yeah, genuinely. I, oh. So I was like, uh, but my ADHD <sighs> ass, dude. So I'm down. I'm looking at the the new trike and the, the, the pit bike trike and the pit bike big wheel, which we'll talk about later. I'm looking at them. I'm like, man, these look sick. The, the bay is all clean because we cleaned it before we hard ways taking pictures i'm like this is fun these look great i took a bunch of cool pictures on my phone i'm like oh, i should just do our everyone a favor grab the camera get some b-roll that that's where i went wrong go into the kitchen to grab the camera i go oh man it's pretty outside <laughs> saw that pool table and couldn't resist dude not quite but look outside and i start like taking a snap i'm like oh that was great and then i'm looking for a song kind of post it up just looking for a song then I like go to my SoundCloud, look for a song, blah, blah, blah. It exits out of the snap. I do it again. Same thing happens. Then I take a third snap. And then I'm laying on the pool table looking for a song. And that's when I then started scrolling. And I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Yo, and then man. I'm like, I wonder if so like. you did have that thought. I had that. I, <laughs> okay. Eventually then, after an yeah, hour. I genuinely did. I was like, I came in here to grab the camera to go shoot some some shot edit shots. It's of been the, an hour. Shit, yeah. And so then I was like, what am I doing? But. 
What if uh, it was an enjoyable time? <laughs> what if we saw Evan come out of his room and he <laughs> crawls onto the pool table and they just start spooning? <laughs> and but they both park their pit bikes out on like to look at like it's the TV. Your legs I, flicking. I just <laughs> maybe Dude. we'll do. It'd be super funny to do that just to see if on the off chance someone catches it. Cuddle on the pool table. <laughs> Let's, Bro, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be looking. Mike, I'm going to be watching I for that. I think you guys better try and see if anyone catches you. Yeah. We come in one morning and both Evan and Mike are snuggled up on the pool table. <laughs> <laughs> well, why we wouldn't let you see it with your your bare eyes. Unless you guys are comfortable, you fell asleep. <laughs> in each other's arms. Man, that's funny. It's like, like we wake up and it's like light out and we're like, Evan, get, get to your quick, bed. Quick, quick. What, is anyone coming soon? <laughs> Ken's walking in with a cinnamon roll. <laughs> I, when I was watching the security camera footage back, Ken was like, and I get shit for looking at the security <laughs> cameras. I was like, I still haven't quite figured that out. Has anybody given you shit for checking the security cameras? I have. Yeah, I have. I was like, oh, Ken, you ha- for- uh, we, we talked about it on the podcast. I was like, Ken's like, Ken doesn't do it anymore, but he was like the dad that I didn't ask for. Oh, it's always Mike. <laughs> Mike just hates being snooped on. No, Mike just I don't, needs a little extra guidance. I don't mind it. I never was like, why were you guys what, looking at the cameras? I never once was like, oh, you found me out laying on the pool table. <laughs> well, I think it's probably just the fact it's like you night. get a notification. It's like yeah, between the movement hours. in the room at, at 3 a.m. or whatever time. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck? So why is someone? That's pretty yeah. no, it, unreasonable it makes, time for there to be movement. Sense. So you're like, I better check. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. And you know what I'm not glad about? I, what? The fact that we're not at 150,000 subscribers yet, and Evan can't come on. People yeah. people just stopped asking, to be honest, at this point. And I, I, it's just for yeah. me, personally. Subscribe so we can get him on and, and chat with him. I feel like it's not that much to ask for either. No, it's not. <laughs> it's it's not. And, I, and we get that it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight, but... Uh, I won't ask again. Yeah, we'd appreciate it. Yeah, we would. So we can get Evan. I, I don't know if Evan would appreciate it. He, his nerves really get out of control when he gets on here. But <laughs> we got to get him all teed up before. <laughs> don't worry. So I got good news. We got lots of, you know, bad. Mainly, we talk a lot of bad news on here about how we have to shell out money for different types of fines and the IRS and taxes and stuff like that. Yeah. We got a check back from the United States Treasury. For $1.55. I don't know how much of this I can show. But wow. Fantastic. All of it's coming back. That's We're fantastic. on top again. What a waste. <laughs> what a waste. Honestly, at that point, it's like, just keep it. <laughs> it it's literally not. I don't know. I think it was a nice gesture by the IRS. <laughs> it was cool wow. of them to just be like, hey, you know... Thanks for trying, at least. We'll hit you with a $1,000 fine later. But you can buy a box and a half of Milk Duds with that. Do you guys remember back in, like, elementary school how... I don't know if you guys did this or your school programs did this, but do you guys remember box tops? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What was the point of that? Or They're digital now, which is way less fun. But, like, where did that money ever go? Or, like, supposedly, how, to how did that work? What, what ten, was the point? Ten cents per box top, and then you... They go somewhere and then they get that 10 cents and it goes to the school. But it's tough because it's like the teachers, how much did it make a difference? They were like, bring your box ops in so we can win. It was mostly so we could win. But it's like, how much money are they really getting? What can you buy? Three three more books? Did you guys do that? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. You get the big bag. I remember my grandma would like cut them out of the soup cans and stuff. Like that shit had to be hard. I never brought mine. Really? My mom made me cut them out myself. There was a bunch of like weird shit that they made you do. You remember the Scholastic Book Fair? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was always super excited when they'd come in. Not that I ever gave a shit about the books. Because you couldn't read. I couldn't read, right. <laughs> well, it was like, yeah, it was pretty much useless for me. It was just me. for like Ripley's the, and Guinness, right? No, I was going to just say like the uh, Lamborghini posters. Like oh, I still remember really? this. And I had That's like cool. a collection of them around my room as a kid, but I would get like a car poster. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, the spot to be. I wonder if they still do that. Do they still do that? I I wonder, yeah. It's got to be a thing. Yeah, I'm sure. Kids are still reading. Books are still a thing. They are. They haven't phased those out (laughs) yet. Nope, Uh, nope. They're still a thing. They're still good for you. I just remember that at uh, my elementary school, we used to do cakewalks. And it was kind of like musical chairs where you'd walk around and then the music would stop and you'd get whatever cake. But wouldn't you just get the cake? What was the point of that? What? I don't know. I think you had to pay to be in the cakewalk. 
and it yep, was like a like, fundraiser. You know, everybody would make a cake or whatever, and then you would cakes, walk around. Cake walk. That's yeah, like my, a good cake. Also, uh, you know, piggybacking off of that, like bake sales. Now bake sales are lame as frick because they can only just sell normal. They have to sell like... At least in my school, they had to sell like store bought and candy bars and like. Oh, you couldn't sell homemade goods. It, at at one point, you could, and that was the that was the good old days. Yeah, like just everyone coming, you know, because all the moms would try to bring heat and bring the best, <laughs> bring right, the right, best bars or brownies or whatever. And then once they outlawed that, we were all like, eh. Well, what's the point of buying a candy bar? It's, I mean, you could come to school with a candy bar or whatever, still bought it, but not nearly yeah. as fun. I was talking to a friend the other day who is little brother, or I was asking, like, hey, is, is uh, your brother in college right now? And you guys know my standpoint on college. I, th- I think it's kind of a waste, but it's also not. And um, I went to a year and then dropped out. I think a lot of people are probably in this position of, like, oh, I don't want to go to college or I want to, I wanna, like, do my own thing. They might, you know, watch, obviously, if they're, like, watch a lot of YouTube, they probably want to do things like that. Um, But I was thinking about it. Do you guys think that even though I only went to a year of college, I'm, like, lacking things that you clearly (laughs) would learn at college that I just missed? Only social. There's some things that... Honestly. That maybe... nothing. There's some things that both... That all of us in general, but there is things that I'll notice about you. I'm like, man, he just never learned anything, did he? But some of them, I, I catch, think, I, I agree. I catch myself in that I think position some of too. those things should have came in like middle school. Oh, so yeah, I think it yeah. might have just been a selective hearing yeah. issue. And I don't disagree. I, I just actually, I haven't thought of that or observed that about you or, or really anyone. Yeah, but I never. For, for me, it's it's like, come on, Ben, you've never heard of so and so, but it's more of a, a social. More of a, just not being a TikTok. Kind I of see yeah, what yeah. you were saying was social now. Yeah, I thought you meant like that he was like weird. Things but. that you may have done in college that even would just slightly twist your mindset about the way like college people work or whatever. But other than that, like as far as knowledge, everything that you need to know, you just learn. In the words of Ricky, college peoples are fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I don't know, man. College peoples are fucking stupid. There is certain things that I, I mean, I definitely don't regret like dropping out of college. But when when kids don't go to college because they're like, well, I don't, I don't think I need it. I don't know if it's even going to college that is like a waste of time. I think it's just like almost doing something to just keep yourself like occupied. Killing time. Yeah. Yeah. But like <laughs> killing time. But like you kind of just like figure things out as you go. But. I feel like you don't really figure it out, like, sitting at home and trying to figure it out. No, no I agree with that. I agree that. 100%. So, like, going through the motions where, like, yeah, I think college is stupid, but I also think it's worth going if you don't have a other plan or, like, something else to do. Because it at least puts you in a group of a, yeah. people trying to succeed yeah. in a way. You succeed, know, a, a yeah. people doing things, you go through all the motions, you learn stuff in classes, and, yeah, 90% of it might be useless, but you at least get 10%. Goodness. Yeah, and hopefully it would happen sooner than later, but, like, you might learn what you don't want to do, like a long list of things you don't want to do. What do you think I'm lacking, Ryan? <laughs> you're pretty quick to answer. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, it's think tough because you're putting me on the spot, but uh, I'll write the next one down. But sometimes you'll just, you'll just do or not know something that I'm just like, wait, how'd you not know that? And it's tough because when you don't know something, you don't know something. But it's a good point. You know? There's just some things that I'm just like, man, he never really, school never really was one of his strong suits, huh? I was pretty decent at school, and I didn't really try that hard. But then once, like, college came around, I think I just, like, quit caring about so many things. Like, basically, like, everything besides for just, like, trying to make YouTube or, like, do anything like this. I just lost a lot of... Brain cells. <laughs> no, I, I was going to just say, like, <laughs> skills of other things. Well, it's probably because you were trying to develop other things. It's like, you know. Right. You were, you were right, working but like towards at, something. At, like, the college age, that's when you get the development of certain things, and that's where I just, like, fell off. <laughs> you just veered strongly right or left. Yeah, I mean, things are working out. Hopefully True. this whole YouTube thing continues on. Otherwise, they're going to be like, man, this guy just never developed, did he? <laughs> It is funny, though, when, Mike, you're talking about things that you find out sometimes at college that you know you didn't want to do. 
because of it. But weren't we talking this week about what if you'd been colorblind? How hard it would be to oh, yeah. be a graphic designer. <clears throat> right. It, and <laughs> it would be like, really, I was thinking if I actually wanted to do that, you'd have to get those, uh, you know, colorblind glasses. And then Ben was like. Was yeah, are those like, real? I mean, yeah, they're real. And I think they help. I, I think. I don't know. That needs to be fact checked. But then, <laughs> and then Ben's like, yeah. And then every time you go to design and you put them on, you just have an emotional breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That is what blue looks. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, and red, uh, green. I mean, yeah, not not a good profession. Again, it was a different era, but man, I I can imagine that Logan Paul looks back at those moments and just goes ah, and doesn't maybe look back at them with fondness. That's what I think of when I think of the colorblind glasses. Yeah, yeah, that's just, what I mean. I think of him yeah. at that yeah the outlook. Well, I like think he got memed pretty hard on that. Yeah, yeah he definitely did. But I think I he knows it, it was a joke, though. Yeah, exactly. And I th- I think it was uh. It was all for growth. It was like just but, serious enough that it made it even funnier. Being a colorblind artist would be like being a deaf musician. Yeah, it'd be tough. Who's the guy that did that? Beethoven. Uh, you could totally be a colorblind wait, artist. Actually, Used to no. abstract actually, Beethoven black and white became art. deaf, I, I believe, in throughout his career. Who was uh was Stevie Wonder? He's blind. <laughs> he was blind. <laughs> it's still pretty impressive though that he can shred the keys the way that he can. Yo, who's the uh, gift? <laughs> Who's the blind and deaf chick? Anne Hathaway, not Anne Hathaway. Uh, Anne Frank. No, no, that <laughs> was the no, no, no. Um, <laughs> Helen, Helen Keller. Helen Keller. Thank you. I, I don't was, know why I was stuck on Anne. Why was Helen Anne. Keller so? This is a really probably a dumb question, but why was Helen Keller so famous? I don't know. Like, why does everyone know who she is? What did she do again? Dude, she was deaf and blind. There's a lot. Of I don't know how much in more the world you... that are probably deaf and blind. Is there? I don't, I don't know. know. I would assume out of the whole world, she wasn't the. Only, only person, person ever, yeah. and that. they're like, she needs to be famous. For yeah, it. did she do? She something? had to have done some some good stuff. I'm or was she famous just... for being famous? Disability rights. <laughs> Kangler's disability rights, dude. Can you imagine <laughs> she being? To be famous. She she has the right to be famous. Can you imagine being deaf and blind? You would have no idea what the fuck was ever going on. Do you think she was faking it? No. Oh my gosh! All right, I mean, this is a mind blowing number. Okay. The National Association of Regulatory... Okay, that's whatever. Estimates that 70,000 to 100,000 people living in the United States are deaf and blind. Whoa! What? See? Oh, wow. That's insane. And so she's the only one that got to be famous? <laughs> Just do a quick search. Why was Helen Keller famous? <laughs> yeah, then we'll, we'll get to the bottom of this part. <laughs> All right. First Google search came up. Helen Keller is arguably Perkins' most famous student with her teacher, Perkins? Ann Sullivan... A close second. The story of a little girl who was deaf, blind, and learned to communicate when her teacher spelled water into her hand was made famous by the movie The Miracle Worker. Looks like we got to watch The Miracle Worker. Damn. I still don't know much. So she was just a scholar. Just an incredible she was smart. student. Yeah. Okay. So I wonder what the other people have to do or what they do. Just like, do they know the, how to communicate? Or the unfamous you... ones? Yeah. yeah. Actually, though, it'd be so difficult to communicate. Like, yeah, how did Braille. Help? Yeah. 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 Braille. Yeah. But how do you learn that is the question? Yeah, but because there you could, obviously yeah. some you could kind do of that, and then it's like, but how do you so know it what? It would take a long time just to learn just Braille, just a way to communicate. It's a bit of a mind twister. Be terrible to make the best out of what they got. Have you guys heard the story of uh, Mattress Mac? Hey, guys, quick break in the podcast for a word from today's sponsor, Manscaped. It's never too early to play holiday music, and it's never too early to start thinking about gifts. Whether it's for a friend or the friends in your pants, you can make this season to be jolly with Manscaped. Look nice when you get naughty and get free shipping and 20% off by going to manscaped.com slash wide open. If you've been listening for a while, you know that we love Manscaped. Manscaped has been keeping us trimmed and fresh for a long time, and there's no better time than the holidays to treat yourself or someone in need. The Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 is a one-stop shop for the man who deserves it all. It has everything you need to deck the halls from face to balls just in time for mistletoe season. The Platinum Package has each product from the best-selling performance package, plus ultra-premium body wash, ultra-premium 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner, and ultra-premium deodorant. All of Manscaped shower gel is sulfate-free, vegan, and made to have your skin feeling hydrated and smelling fresh. The Platinum Package 4.0 sitting under the tree is guaranteed to put anyone in the holiday spirit and for the perfect stocking stuffer, add in the brand new Body Buffer, an incredible body scrubber that makes exfoliating easy and a lot cleaner than that old loofah. 
Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash wide open. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash wide open. Get your jingle balls ready for the holidays with Manscaped. Alrighty, guys, we have another word from today's sponsor, Blue Chew. Sex should be the best part of your day for you and your partner. The chewables from Blue Chew can make sure you're able to perform at your best when the time arises. No more wasted opportunities with Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form at a fraction of the cost. And now they also have mint-flavored chewables so you can stay hard and fresh. But guys, what I love most about Blue Chew is it's an online prescription service, so there's no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process really is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your first prescription within days. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. And if you don't like swallowing pills, that's no problem. Blue Chew's tablets are chewable, made here in the USA, and they prepare and ship direct so it's easier than a pharmacy. So if you could use a boost and have some extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And don't forget, guys, the special deal for our listeners, try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code wide open at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code wide open, all one word, to receive your first month free. Thanks, Blue Chew. Back to the podcast. Uh, yes, because Justin told me when we were in Vegas, got me all hyped up. Mattress Mac. There's this guy. He's from Houston, Texas. His name is Mattress Mac or something McAfee, but they call him Mattress Mac. And so Mattress is his first name? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Dude, my, didn't Michael Jackson name his kid Blanket? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Carry on. <laughs> okay. Sorry. His name is not actually Mattress <laughs> Mac. <laughs> Nickname. Anyway. Um, okay, so he owns a f- furniture store. And he basically is famous in the Houston area, started in the Houston area, but now all over the place for making these massive sports bets. Because he loves the Astros, right? He loves the Astros, but he, he's just like a big sports guy. It's not just the Astros. It's other teams. And he makes these huge sports bets on the teams. And then if the team wins, he gives everyone a refund that bought something from his furniture store during the promotion. What? So he he just recently won $75 million on the Astros. He bet on the Astros. 75 million? He won 75 million and he's going to give everyone a refund that bought a mattress over $3,000, I believe. Whoa. So he runs these basically as like promotions. Though too for him. Yes, and insurance, but like promotions. So like you come in to the store, you buy a $3,000 mattress, the Astros win, you get a refund. Dang. And Dude, of, isn't that genius? And at the end of the day, the sense of community that brings because yeah. it makes you cheer for the Astros, and the it's odds true, of it's pretty good. Back. So him giving back is just being nice. Yeah, but say you're gonna buy a you're gonna buy a mattress either way. Well, you might as well buy it from this guy because <laughs> say the Astros win, when, right? Or just wait a good week when you know they're playing a crappy team. I think it was like only the for yeah, the okay, World Series. Enough, Interesting. Yeah. But he does that for like other. Football yeah. games and stuff like that. How much? So basically, cool. it's just that's a hedge. A, that's a genius. It's just a hedge against yeah. his own bet. Yep. So either so, the company is going to do super, super well, and then he's not going to have to refund them, or he's going to have to refund everyone, but he's going to win seventy five yeah. million. Either way, he wins. That's awesome. Yeah. What a genius the story. Yeah, yeah. and he's, he's been, been, been doing it for a news. long time. Just awesome marketing. Yeah, he's been doing <laughs> it for like a while. But Dude. how much did he have to bet to win seventy five million? I think it was like one to twelve. Or something like One, that. Two, twelve. Oh, that was my I know we place a couple you different. Yeah, so a lot of matches to make that much. Well, so I saw dope. I saw the headline when you said you know mattress Mac. I said no. <laughs> I saw the headline. Some dude crazy bet seventy five million. I had no idea, nor would I have ever guessed that he's a mattress slinger. Yeah. Well, he it's a it's a furniture yeah, okay. store as a yeah. whole. Yeah, not just mattresses. Yeah. No, I don't know if it's just anything over three thousand dollars, or if they have like a certain mattress yeah. that they have a good. That's pretty cool. Or what, but I did see that Caesars literally included in their earnings report. It's the biggest loss that Caesars has ever taken <laughs> in sports betting or right. in the casino, and it was just coming out around like third quarter reports or whatever. And they were like, "There's a significant bet out there, and if this doesn't, or if this hits not in our yeah. favor, like." 
this will significantly affect our earnings. Wow. Which is pretty wild because I would assume Caesars has some cash flow, but that's pretty sweet that he took a pretty big dent out of it. I know we split it up between a couple different casinos. 75, 75 million, but he so bet is 10 he million. Is he just going to get out of the furniture game now or just carry on <laughs> I mean, with life? Like at that point. <laughs> so he bet he 10 million. So let's just say. Okay, he, so he so, had a giant bet. It's yeah. not yeah, like yeah, he yeah. bet $100,000 and yeah. like won a million odds. Yeah, so he bet 10 million, though, to win 75 million. So technically, though, if he would have lost, all he would have had to have made. Is ten million, so it's not like he had to make a lot. It's a lot of freaking <laughs> dough, man. Oh, that's all he had to make. in a brick and mortar like, store. So no, 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 no. It is a lot of money, but like, keep in mind, I think he's doing these promotions are doing extremely well. Yeah, no wow. shit. He's putting ten mil down. He's got to be like making like millions a day, dude. Think how <sighs> yeah. stoked! Literally, when the Vikings won it this past weekend, game of the year, headed to the Super Bowl. That was a Let's game, go, Vikes. Craziest game I've ever seen in my life. I, uh, thought, I thought you hated the Vikes. No, I love the Vikes. I was just being realistic at dinner. I don't know, Ryan. You, you Ryan pretty... just saw a group of people excited about <laughs> and something, I had to and shut he down. had to shut it down. Yeah, I don't do that. I was pretty okay. So kidding, rewind. <laughs> I was pretty excited about the Vikes, obviously, as any Minnesota fan is right now because they're doing pretty good. And Ryan comes in swinging. They're gonna lose. They always no. do. The only reason they won I was because all these po- players were were out. And I said on this very podcast a few weeks ago when they won like their first game, I was like, "Our year, we're headed to the Super Bowl." Where were you? We're Where was your support then? Guys. I don't know, man. It just seems like you're kind of switching up now, Ryan. Why would I switch up when they're winning? That's what I'm trying it's to figure a- <laughs> out. I think it might have to do with these cameras right here. No, it's our year, dude. Headed to the Super Bowl. Mm. Let's go, Vikes. Change, change of attitude <laughs> in the last two hours. Anyway, I'm sorry. Carry on. Uh, but anyway, when, when they won, I was literally jumping up and down, cheering, so stoked. Could you yeah. imagine winning $10 million or winning $65 Seven, million? Yeah. Dollars, but dude, having $10 I million $10, dollars on the line? I'd be happy. No, I, I literally cannot imagine that. Dude, the guy's like 75. I can't believe he didn't have a heart attack. What a baller, dude. Yeah, good for him. I saw a video of him wheeling up the door into his private jet, a wheelbarrow full no of a bunch way. of cash. That's a flex and a half. Yeah, I, they I had think, to set that up. I That's think awesome. I mean, yeah. He captioned the the Instagram like oh. all this money is heavy or something like that. <laughs> like what a legend. I bet seventy five million dollars is very heavy. CJ, you said what's he gonna do now? Is he gonna like retire and quit slinging mat- mattresses? And uh, in the interview that I watched of him, he he like still works at the front desk and like greets people. What a beauty! Really? Yeah, just man, that's awesome. Guy. I also was thinking that he might do just that because it, it he probably enjoys it and it's probably not super like daunting, physically or mentally. <laughs> True. You know, like I, he's chilling. He seems like I, he's I okay. guess the guy yeah, is like kind of a legend in yeah. the Houston area he because be. he he like started out by doing these uh, TV ads where he would like. Basically had this little shtick at the end of every TV ad. He'd be like, and save you money. And you jump in the air and like do it. And that just like kind of put him on the map for Houston. So he's a legend like before any of this. Ben, if you ever start up another business, you should do that. But you'd be like, everybody would know. They'd be like, that Ben, he's just going to lose my money. (laughs) (laughs) You'd get away with it for like three years. And they'd be like, (laughs) he keeps betting on the wrong team and he keeps losing all the money. We never get any refunds. Hey, hey, that's that's where I'm underdeveloped. You're betting? I don't think you're you're risking. No, it's just saving and making money. I'm just, I just never developed. I never figured that out. They don't teach you that in college, so you're good. Yeah, there's a lot of things I can see Ben doing, but being some sort of uh, bet overseer (laughs) is just just not not one of them for other people. Dude, you guys didn't talk about my roulette losses. I mean, we did 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 briefly, but I. It was electric, just like the fact of, man, what could have been. But. Yeah, that was a real quick fifteen hundred dollar loss. Yeah, and it's crazy that there's people that like that. They'd be like, "What? Did a thousand bucks?" And that was like that. That was your big end of the day bet. But man, that was too much for me. Yeah, it was just like a really tough way to like end the trip. Yeah, it was. You know, just that, like the very last thing, and then hop on the plane and leave. Good thing we didn't start it with that. I don't know if we. Could, I don't know if I could have recovered. Yeah, it yeah, would, I would have gotten over it. Yeah, I was like, I think I would rather start with that. 
than what, watch us lose money. <laughs> well, I guess if I, I, agree, I, I would rather it, start it with. I would it. rather start start with a thousand with the possibility you know, winner, of winning it back. Possibility of winning it back or losing, and then if it loses, you're like, all right, I'll, I'll focus on, you know, not something losing else. money. <laughs> yeah, something yeah. else. I don't know what, but yeah, you live and you learn. I'm out on Vegas for a couple months at least. Same. I feel like you can learn literally the wildest shit on TikTok. Mike, you were just telling a story and we we're like, where'd you learn that? Or TikTok. I'm like, unfortunately, TikTok. Did you know that George Strait and Jeff Bezos are first cousins? They have the same grandma. What? <laughs> wow, yeah. That family is built on royalty. No kidding. That's actually pretty crazy. Is he the king George of Strait's country? like, I mean, yeah, he's like a, a, yeah, he's right, a legend. king. Yeah. yeah. Way up there. Dude, what are the odds? I wonder but, if they hang out. Like what I feel like not a lot of families. I'm I'm I have some parts of my family that are pretty cool. You guys, you know, I know you each have that part of your family you don't like to talk about. For him, it's him, and for you, it's oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I'm like who? don't talk about my family that way. What? <laughs> I was trying to think. Wait, what? What no, side? Just kidding. <laughs> But, like, damn, could you imagine the family reunion and, like, oh, here comes George, and then Bezos lands a rocket in the front yard? Yeah. Uh, Jeff's always big dick <laughs> in him. Everybody. Yeah. They hate each other. I'm just, like, picturing you bringing up family reunion. It's like, so let's say the rest of them are average. Yeah, average normal incomes. person. So when they're like, all right, we have the family reunion. Um, it's going to be at uh, Mima's house, and, and it's just very normal. Mima. Then, yeah, then <laughs> Jeff lands then the, no, his no, rocket. Either no. that, or it's like, oh, yeah, last year's uh, Jeff hosted it. And can you imagine the difference it in, was on Mars. in something he hosted? <laughs> yeah. like, literally. We're having Thanksgiving dinner in space this year. Yeah, we actually had... Um, Uncooked dolphin sushi rolls? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever rich people eat. Wouldn't know. Dude, so yesterday, Greta spent eight hours mm. in a waiting room trying to get Taylor Swift tickets. Wait, like a physical waiting no, room? Not she a went phys- somewhere? No, no, no. Like, uh, like an online waiting room. But okay. like thousands of people were in a waiting room for damn near the entire work day. Trying to get T Swift tickets. That's amazing. She's and then the, didn't. Oh, and then didn't end up getting them. No. Right. Yeah, yeah. Sold, sold out. And I heard a, that happened to a bunch of people, dude. She's got America or wherever the tour is. I'm assuming it's U.S. by the balls right now. Ooh, uh, Greta or Taylor Swift? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Taylor Swift for sure. But I mean, Greta said that the tickets now are going since this whole fiasco. People can't get them for uh, one to thirty thousand dollars. I mean, seriously, it's uh, Taylor Swift. I didn't realize she was, like, so popular, but at the same time, maybe she just got a really, really strong cult following. Oh, she does. I think, yeah. It's it's how very many people strong. are, like, talking, oh, I love Taylor Swift? You know, She's A like, lot of them. I Well, obviously, but, like. I didn't realize the amount yeah, of respect she crazy. had. She's yeah. like the, the white Beyonce. You know, like, Beyonce she just is. has that respect. People are there. They buy tickets for her shows. They never say anything bad about her. Same for Taylor. Dude, and if you want to get hated on, go after T Swift. True. Really? Right now, if yeah, oh if yeah, really dude, they are like they're like extreme. Swifties. Yeah, well, how Swifties. About this? How about like, this? I'm gonna get Swifting. Mike, you text Greta right now and okay. say, "I don't think Taylor Swift is that good, dude." She would <laughs> not like. It would be bad for you if you said that. Just say, "I don't, I don't think she's that good." And she just responds, I don't think pit biking is that cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mike just freaks out. Wow. Mike me? has wow. to leave the podcast. Uh, What'd she say, Mike? <laughs> you don't, yeah, wanna, I don't no. even want to. <laughs> she took it too far. I took it yeah. too far. Honestly, I just tell her I'm joking, but that was still just too far. I do believe that when she dropped her new album, it, it set some record. Like she had. She had she had all of, I guess it was just a week's long worth of all top ten billboards yeah. uh, like in the world yeah the top ten all the top ten songs off her whole album were hers or that's pretty that's gnarly insane. Wait, well, dude that seems to happen though like every time a big artist yes like, but little not baby all, drops not, not all not top the 10. whole oh, right. album. there might be like uh, you have number one number three number four number six but I just think it's kind of bullshit because it, they're. I feel like they're paying to promote it. Like it used to not be that way. Like in order to get to the top, I don't think that's or, always the case. But it doesn't. It there's totally. got to be something going on no, with like you. The label pays to get there because why are all these songs at the top ten 
And like, it's there's just, definitely one or two that are like really good that makes sense, but it's just like the YouTube trending page. Some are legit. Some are literally paid. You know, a movie yeah. trailer. We pay you to put it on there. It is pretty sus. It, but it's really cool to see that all these independent artists are basically making a name for themselves completely without the label, dude. So yeah, that's Connor great. Price. Yeah, yeah. true. So we're so, gonna talk about right, right. So there's this there's this artist. His name is Connor Price. We've been rocking. We found him pretty early. Yeah, we've been rocking with him for what, like two two years for sure. At this point, <laughs> yeah. we use a bunch of his songs. Like if we just play a clip, right? Just pl- drop one of his songs that we always play, and you'll be like, "Oh, that guy." Straight A student, but I'm friends with a cool kid. Following the rules in a rubric. Anyway, Connor Price has always been like super anti-label you can do it independent and just like promote it through instagram and tiktok and like dude i always was like man it's crazy that he hasn't blown up yet or the fact that he doesn't have a record label and then he came out and was like no 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 i i don't want a record label i want to do this on my own i want to i want to like do it on spotify and basically just Keep all the earnings, right? Because I think record labels like they take a ton. They take a ton, a ton right? They, they fuck in, the artists. It's yeah. a whole new thing. Yeah. So basically, I was like, man, it's just crazy that he hasn't blown up yet. And over the last like month, for sure, like, he's gone up like literally. I think a million followers on Instagram. Yeah, he's over a million on Instagram now. I think he's posted. I was like, whoa, wait, what? Yeah, like like blew up like overnight. Million well, on I'm Instagram. sure it feels like it's overnight right, to right, us, but right, not to him. Right. He did no, it in but a year. Like, like, he started like super fast. With 60K mm-hmm. followers this year this on year. Instagram. Yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah, and then his TikTok is blowing up. And like he's basically just making a name for himself by himself without like the record label, without getting pumped, mm-hmm. you know. But like he has songs uh, in like the top 100. Yeah, and top, one of them's dope. at 20 yeah, right that's now. That's incredible. Really? That's incredible. Yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, that's actually crazy. So maybe I'm completely wrong with the whole like buying spots, but it does kind of seem. No, I like, no, I, I'm sure both they do ways. that. I th- I'm sure they do that. But yeah, because it doesn't really make sense. Because like these are the top 100 songs in the whole world, and they just dropped theirs, and now all 12 spots are filled up with their whole album. Dude, you it's know? just Taylor Swift. People were listening. No, yeah. Taylor Swift's obviously it's not a just her, different, but. Yeah, it's just like such a different time, though. Yeah, like people, and like he's proven that you know, like you really don't need it, and you can do it kind of yeah. on your own. You can self promote. But now I'd say like p- it, artists on uh, TikTok or Instagram, people will comment like, "Yo, get this guy a record deal." Like that's a rinse comment now. <laughs> like it, it kind of is. It's like get this guy a record deal. Most people are like, I mean, maybe, but it's not 2010. You know? Yeah. I rinsed. Yeah. I was always worried though, because like we've been using his songs for so, so long and they're in so many videos. I was always worried like if he gets a record deal, is he going to, is the record company going to come come and copyright all of the videos? Because that's that's usually one of the first things they do when you get on a record company. Like they're instantly, all their songs are Mm -hmm. copyrighted. Like we, well, that's, that even happens still to, to like this day, like a video from a year or two ago will get copyrighted because we picked this song off SoundCloud and it finally caught up. And maybe that person, that song got either copyrighted by a label or more than likely just the artist got picked up by the label. But the other one that I've noticed is these people that, are really promoting like one song on Instagram and then it becomes like a viral trend or on TikTok too. But like what comes to mind is like that one song that's like, it was just two lovers. Song and it's oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it was the, just two lovers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But the dude set out to like set out to like make this song just, the, just go viral. It's the best way to get big quick. Yeah. Dude, not, I don't think and, there's anything wrong I, with it. No, it was, it, it was genius. It was genius. I saw it all over the place. People were like reposting it, using it as like reels and things yeah. like that, which I think is genius. TikTok has definitely built a new platform or a new pathway for artists to get put on the map for sure. Like I think a lot of artists make songs just for like, That's oh, this will I mean. be a TikTok. This yeah. is how I'll get to go wild and then people will know who I am. And I think it is a bit whatever. of a double-edged sword because yeah. there can be yeah. some songs that... Maybe are good, but you listen to them a thousand times on TikTok, and then you're just like, 
I don't need this yeah, added then to you my don't playlist like it anymore. because yeah. it's, just, it's just a TikTok. Yeah, I agree. Song. You That's almost true. start to That's just true. think of it as that. Or it's like the, especially like astronaut, like rolling down. And yeah, exactly. So that, I, I remember hearing just that like 20 second, whatever stint of audio so many times that when I listened to the original song, it's like all I heard. Mm -hmm. And then the whole four, three, four minute song wasn't even anything. But in some cases, I don't know if I would have known about that guy if it wasn't for that song. So yeah. I feel like it's almost like a little bit of something you just kind of, yeah. if, if you're lucky enough <laughs> to be able to get it, it's, it's so just part weird. of it. Because now you can have like, like there's such a thing as a one hit wonder that can still be a thing now and obviously you can have more than one but now it's like a one trending sound wonder because some of those trending sounds are like lasered into our brains yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah or when when anyone around me is watching instagram reels or anyone i'm sure you just know yeah. you just know all you have to do is listen and you just know and the funny thing <laughs> is you can almost tell what they're watching yeah like if you're on tiktok and you hear a certain sound you're like you're watching some chick in a bikini right now. Like, you just <laughs> yeah, know. Oh, that too, and yeah. then or you might hear play twice. I actually, Yolanda was watching TikTok, and there was one of those songs. I was like, what are you watching over there? And it was it was something else. But Yeah. I th I also think that Instagram reels have killed creativity in, in a lot of aspects. I yeah. agree. Because it's yeah, like you, you almost have to use it. Sound, yeah. Like double-edged sword, use the trending sure. song, but then you just like, I don't know, you're almost just incentivized to just shit out shitty content. Yeah. More and it's reels. like... <laughs> Dude, I don't know if it's for every case, but it seems like the less effort I put into a reel, the better <laughs> it does and the more views it'll get. And then it's like, damn, I made like this really cool edit yeah, and it did like a quarter of the views as this, then this uh, shitty just Uncut like iPhone, iPhone yeah, mm -hmm. with, with like this trendy song to it. But That's where I really struggled too. It's like. It do, the less like cuts you have, unless you have like a really good storyline or some good skit, the less if it's just a single iPhone clip with exactly what you want people to see, just upload that. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to try to use different songs, but it's like then it gets no views. You know, I think a that's a views. tough part. It takes the creativity out, being that you. <laughs> I think it kind of puts you in a box because you have to use the song in order to get the views. Right. And for anyone that's, I guess, trying to get views and that wants a little tip, you can actually then use a trending song, turn the volume all the way down, and then you'll get into the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Not sure how much that will help you, but I've heard it does. But same thing, double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. Shit, the, the reel that you hate goes viral, and then you've got more eyes on the one that you really like. And hopefully mm -hmm. the people yeah. that came on that one, more people like the reel that you made and that you like, and it, it grows your... Uh, Grows the views and audience. Good way to look at it. Just, but it'll be interesting to see with YouTube Shorts now becoming more of a thing. They've uh, they're going to start paying on them now, and then they finally made it so it doesn't messy up your feed and stuff like that. So I wonder how much more YouTube Shorts will become a thing. I heard Mr. Beast is like, I'm going to make one a day, and it's going to be a dedicated short, not a oh, bit yeah. of his video. He's going to make a dedicated short every single day. Do you guys watch YouTube Shorts? I don't, Not but I know all. you do, right? I do a lot. Like I, I never watch TikTok. Kind of watch Instagram Reels just because it's like if you're on Instagram, you're watching Reels pretty yeah. much. But yeah, yeah dude, I, I watch like shorts more than anything. Really, I mean, it's just like what you get into. You know, like you either like do or you don't. I, there's nothing wrong with them. Every time I do find myself on shorts, I'm like, yeah, this is enjoyable because I like TikTok. What, so what's like, on shorts? Same. It's like I feel like shorts are just like higher quality instagram reels they're probably equivalent to I'd tiktok i'm just not on tiktok mm. i just and don't go on tiktok I guess so I, I would i would probably equivalent like they're probably very equal to tiktok but they're a lot better than instagram reels it's, yeah. man and people on instagram reels suck i would Most compare yeah i think <laughs> the, the bar the is just so low yeah, yeah. the yeah. only thing uh worse is uh facebook whatever no does facebook There's still the, snap, the still oh, snapchat facebook spotlight reels. Uh, that, Snapchat Spotlight's like a better, newest thing that they put together And it's always some shitty chopped up thing Horrible Yeah, Facebook's got like a Reels type of deal and It sucks It's like what was happening on TikTok like six months ago hmm. Like you still hear the Oh no Oh no 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 no, no. <laughs> Oh no That's like, yeah <laughs> They're always six months behind Exactly, dude Dude, I actually have a pretty funny theory about Facebook I think that Obviously, the Facebook market is much different, but the Facebook demo is like parents mostly, yeah. right? But every time I go on Facebook, I always see like, 
I'm going to use your dad as an example. Yep. Somebody who I would not think that would be like that good at social media and Randy's killing it oh, on yeah, Facebook. He does kill oh? it. Bro, he's making posts of just like things that This is Ryan's dad. By things way. that are just like keeping people up to date with like what he's up to. Like he's oh, like shit, doing like a good job at like keeping people engaged with his Facebook. And social every time media I runs see in it, the family dude. <laughs> <laughs> every time I see it I'm like, "Damn, Randy's kind of coming with the heat here." He had a bunch of really good coverage of the the hurricane. That too. Dude, I, I don't know if he ever I'm not, but posted it, but I think Randy's just like kind of the average Facebook user too. Should we sign him? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Randy, look, I, you've been uh, you've really been impressing us <laughs> with your Facebook, but no, I don't know. It it is funny how uh, that demo is like using Facebook, but yeah. they're like actually pretty good at it. Yeah, some I, of them are. <clears throat> I use Facebook a lot. Actually, I do too. I, do I too. probably I just use Facebook no, the most. Yeah, I don't, I don't post, post ever, yeah. but so, I just use it like looking at like stuff for sale yeah, or like, like going to like groups. Though. No, it's been like really going, going to like groups. Like, groups. Yeah. Like let's say like Evo X yeah. parts yep. for sale. And I like, you know, or just like different things. And I don't know. It's fun. It's like, yeah, it it's is. like something you can't get into really anywhere else. Like, you know, I'm in a Bronco group and I learn a ton from it. I'm a, of course, I'm in a pit by group. <laughs> Are you really? I'm in two pit by groups. Bro, every time I go on Facebook, Mike, too, Mike I'm in a in couple one. of those same groups. The other one, Mike's le- uh, the started. <laughs> the admin. I wish. Yeah. I e- wish. Dude, every single time I go on Facebook, I'll see, because I'm in a couple of those those uh, pit by groups, too, and Mike is always responding to people's really? questions. Oh, dude, you're always, such a good guy. bro. I don't know. Clearly, like, I could spend my time better, but I, I genuinely... <laughs> like laying on the pool table? <laughs> yeah. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing when he's laying on the pool table. <laughs> responding to... <laughs> yeah, we, yeah we run the BBR rear spring, but... Uh, <laughs> It is nice, though, because there's so many times when you're looking for information on the internet, and you know that people know. But yeah. the people that know aren't commenting back because they're fucking doing things, not commenting back yeah. on Facebook. I always wonder that when I'm looking something up, and it puts me in, like, a weird Reddit form from, oh, like, yeah. 2006. Yeah. But I always think about that. I'm when back from the future. When people had questions... And they would go on these forms and they would post the question. And then like a couple of weeks later, it would that. get answered. Yeah. I used to totally. do that on the like Subaru WRX forums. Totally. Mm-hmm. God it, bless the bros. Like, you, you, noti- you wouldn't get notified when people would answer. Yeah, so you would. Oh, would it just hit you yeah. back in your Gmail. So your, your, so your email would get notified. You got a response and it would show the response. But then in order to respond back, you'd hit reply and it'd how, bring you to the... How active was it? Uh, it depends like what, you know, there's different... Uh, pages in the forums, threads, so yeah. threads that w- is the term. But like that's where I learned a lot about like wheels and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But normally, like even nowadays, you don't need to comment stuff like that. Like if you're trying to find like how to get perfect fitment on a 2015 Evo X, there will be like a whole write up in a Usually forum, and and yeah. you can go through and see pictures. Like that's like what you would do before custom offsets or fitment industries or yeah. if they don't have it then you just go on that but yeah i mean i think i was i love the forums the forums truly help people a lot i was one i was too lazy to post actually post a question because I, okay you what get if crucified I get, too if you what if i get an answer too <laughs> yeah. late or yeah people are like dude that's a dumb question just yeah either they tell you it's a dumb question or they're like dude there's already three other write-ups on this please yeah. stop asking and i'm like sorry it's just you're, wondering. You're flooding the forum. Yeah, exactly. So the people are mad about this. Or they're just yeah. Like, they would you get reams sometimes if you didn't have a valid question. I'd be like scared to like ask the wrong thing. Oh, yeah, you, you, because I'm like, scared of what these random people. I like I don't even have my real name connected to it. But it's like, or it, you don't provide enough information. They're like, okay, hey, well, what spec is this? Yeah. you didn't even provide it. How are we supposed like, to answer your question? You're like, I didn't know. That's why I'm here, dude. But overall, forums are great. Dude, yeah, guess, every, yeah. every time I have a question that gets answered by a form from 2006 when Greg43 was wondering <laughs> the same thing, though, I'm always like, yeah, yes. yes, there is there is somebody oh. else wondering the same thing. Dude, yeah, what better feeling when you are, uh, it's like when you look up something that's broken on your car and no one else has had that problem, you're like, I might be screwed. But when like 20 other people have the problem and there's yeah, write-ups there's for it, you're like, fix. yes. Yeah. And, and they got yes. like so specific yeah. with it. And you're like, that's this, what, this, this happened problem to me. I'm yeah. having. 
I love that so much. That's this nice. happened to me. Yep, this is what I did for the fix, and then it's just like it works. Yep, forms are good. All right, I got. Um, oh no. So I got something. Oh no. I missed out on the apple cider vinegar last week. Mm. Wait, oh, which my mom oh, also no. said. Which my mom said you guys did wrong. But yeah, <laughs> she just said we were supposed to mix water with it. Yeah. We were doing yeah. hard. I we was drinking it. We're doing it was straight. actually anyway. Bad okay. Stuff, supposedly. All right. Uh, oh. So I got this game. It's called Reaper oh. Roulette. Speaking of roulette again, but um, there's basically five gummy worms and one of them is extremely hot. Ah, holy crap. Are so we, we going to get Ken in here Ken then? Right here? Yeah. yeah. Ken's over there like peeping up, smiling. I'm not smiling anymore. <laughs> so yeah. Get in here, Ken. Ken, if you want to hop in here. Um, How many are hot? So there's, there's yeah, one Reaper gummy and then five sweet gummies. Uh, I hate spicy shit. I, I, we were just, I was just talking about this the other day. I'm so glad that our spicy phase is over. <laughs> I've just been getting back ass. into it actually because I've been could... watching a lot of hot ones interviews lately so i've kind of been jonesing for some heat either way bro this is not a game i've done the i'm not excited for this bear. but i thought you pulled uh the pocket It'll mess chip, you up for like the 30 chip. yeah 30 Dude, minutes i i'm genuinely terrified to do one of those one of the one chip challenge i think it's the same as this they're both about the same hot bro they're eat, they're straight up selling is the is the hot one like you guys gotta share your mic move mic Okay, I I don't. They all look the exact same. So okay, Perfect. but they're all let me, together. Let me be the judge no, again. no. Okay. I, yeah, get I, your greasy fingers out of there. Because because Ken, what if you were judging and like then you found the right hot now. one was your gummy bear? What would you do? Remember that time where I had Ken eat the world's hottest gummy bear, and then we poured vodka in the milk and gave him the milk. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that this here, man, drink, the milk, drink the milk, drink the milk. The whole gummy bear thing, you know, that, that's it's a fun prank. And then the fact that yeah, that we poured vodka that in took milk, it a little far. Even as he was chugging, and it, he was then drinking, he, and he didn't even notice. You it. didn't notice it, and then I was like, man, I feel yeah, like bad. Friends sure are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, I, Ken, I, don't smell it. Don't look at it. I'm yeah, not even. I'm not just, even What's I'm not, like, I'm oh, not gonna I look see. at it or smell it or anything. So there's no spin or anything. You just legitimately there ain't yeah. no roulette. I it's just there, I thought this was Ben be... is the roulette right now. Included in box one game board, one dice, five gummy bears, one extreme spicy bear, one winner scratch oh. off card. Ooh, there's a lot included. Hold up. I, okay, I, I feel like hold up. What? Who who didn't get one? I got one. Everybody got one. Ryan doesn't. Have I don't have more. one. I don't have one. Ryan. Give Ryan yeah. one. Oh. No, uh, there's there's one more after this. Oh fuck. Fuck. Let's just let's do it. It might be the one that no okay. one gets. Hey, Evan! I totally okay, got I, it. I, Fuck. I, feel I don't like, think so. I feel, I, like, I, feel like, I feel like I do. I, I feel like for this to be fair, we need to put a gummy bear on each of these, and then you roll the dice for it. That's how you're supposed to do I it. I like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was that. pretty random let's the way we that. got them. I like that, though, because then it's still, <laughs> Mike and I feel like we got it. I feel like I got it. I dude. feel like I got it. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. We're going to we're gonna do it the <laughs> right way. We're going to do it the right way. We're going to do it the right way. What? Just, why not? <laughs> what are you talking about? We'll just give Evan this one. No, 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 no. no you. Oh, put... did you rig it? Because if you rigged it, no, this would make. No, oh, no. okay. No, oh, I'm gonna puke, guys. Let's do this. You ready? Oh man! All right, boys. Cheers. Oh, I gotta eat. You gotta this. eat it too, right? I Dude, gotta... I don't know if you'll be able to finish it. I'm just it looking at it. I'm pretty sure mine is the Wait, one. Do we you have so? a puke Cheers. spot? Yeah. All right, you ready? You can puke in here. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. I got it. Oh, fuck. I didn't get it. I got it. No, I got it, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, yeah. Mine, I didn't get it. Oh, man. I need something. (laughs) Oh, man. Grab me a beer. Hey, get him some some apple cider vinegar. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) This ain't gonna work. (laughs) (laughs) CJ said this ain't... Go, go, go. He said this ain't gonna work. Film him, film him. Whoa! He didn't even he didn't even make it downstairs. He went into his office. He went. He threw up in his office. All right, we've gone, we've gone rogue. We're off podcast now. That um. All right, I thought mine was the one because I was looking they at. Dude, they have a little bit of spice to it. No, I was looking up. at yours and like the back of mine was like completely sugar covered. Like yours had was like missing the backside. All right, we'll cut back and forth to Ben and Siege. It doesn't look like it's going well. I feel bad because I I didn't want to get spiced. I didn't either. I feel bad for him. Oh, I man. thought I was being set up for sure. You I can't speak. It. Oh, shit. I'm yeah, just, no, you I'm just kidding. You're, Dude, I am 100% thoroughly, happily surprised that that wasn't, wasn't a prank you. on me. Oh, yeah. I no. just figured being pulled in like that. I'm so happy usually that's set up for me. I just So the love. fact that it wasn't. Oh, 
I yeah. love that they gave every other. So let's say CJ's was a hundred, a hundred out of a hundred hot, and every other gummy bear had like two out of a hundred hot. Just a just, slight. No, bit mine, to ma- mine just tasted like a sugar coated gummy bear. Uh, mine yeah. had it, it was a cinnamon. I think that's what it was. They make them cinnamon flavored. So mine, I'm like, oh, I think I got it. Yeah, I, I had just enough spice to get nervous. All right, it's been like longer than I was expecting. Ben's coming back. CJ's not. Honestly, I thought I was like, if I get it, there's no way I'm continuing to do this. So I don't expect him to. Did you get him some milk? <laughs> huh? Oh, no, we don't have any milk. Huh? How'd it go? With, With Buddy. Oh, With your cuz, bro. The gummy bear. Oh, he's not doing well. <laughs> he's not doing well at all. I feel bad. Hey, what's going on here? This is Evan. We gave up. We gave up on it. <laughs> no, we're gonna hit five. We're gonna go up five k during this podcast. Ooh, I love that confidence. Mm-hmm. If not, we'll never release it. This. We're not going against our word. <laughs> Where's the pod? Oh, well, we accidentally let Evan in, so can't really post it. Man, I'm so glad Man. that wasn't me. Well, me too, dude. Man, that I just was off. nervous. What? Oh there's yeah, check this. Off? There's a scratch yeah, off. I believe a, the the winner gets it, which I think CJ is the winner. Is the loser, uh, but is he? He's MIA for a minute. Scratch off. Should scratch it off. Yeah. Ben, did you know which one was the hot one? No. It's literally just a random assortment. Dude, he just got fifteen percent off whatever they're selling. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's lame as frick. That was the scratch off. Yeah. Garbage. Now we know. Reaper wheel. Ev has this idea, and it's to create the wheel of misfortune. <laughs> and whenever we get in a situation that someone needs to be, like, thrust into a situation, we go spin the wheel of misfortune. Such a good name. I love that. And, what, and what, what does it just say? Like, yes, no. What would be on there? Like an eight ball sort of yeah, thing? Well, Why yeah. are you so sweaty? <laughs> also, uh, I, <laughs> please tell me you're watching Cops. No, nah, dude, I was just washing the rigs. Is that So is that sweat or is that, like, mist? Probably miss. Okay. It's kind of warm up here, though. All right. So, okay. So, what would be on the wheel of misfortune? Um, well, I originally was thinking like nipple piercing would have been a good one on there, but that's already played out. Yeah. But I mean, things similar to that, maybe like an ass tattoo. Oh, oh, um, oh, man. Uh, I would would you rather take, um, I'm not talking super hard either, but would you rather take a, a swift <laughs> to the a- nuts or an ass tattoo? A I'd, swift I'd, kick in the nuts I, or yeah. an ass tattoo? Yeah, swift I'd take a nuts. swift kick same, in the nuts. Same, dude. same, same. I who, think, uh, who picks the tattoo? Uh, I, whatever you want. Because that's another thing. Picking someone's tattoo, I think, heightens it so much. Oh, yeah, you have to get a tattoo. Okay. I do. Oh, you have to get a silly tattoo. Would you let me? I'll take the kick in the nuts, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think uh, ass tattoos are tacky. Unless you're a girl. No, I still think they're tacky. Also, when chicks get the lips tattooed down here, I don't like that. I think it's tacky. Really? Yeah. That's just my two cents. It didn't matter at all. If you've got either of those things, good for you. <laughs> do your thing. But I just think they are. I wouldn't do it. I, that's definitely. What about like, just a normal tattoo? No. Normal tattoos are cool. And I don't even care if they're like the you do the patchwork ones, which probably isn't my style. But I, I think tattoos are cool. Mike, are you getting a tattoo? You've been talking about it for forever, One dude. One day. I, I think still, you would actually look hard as fuck with, I agree. A, with I, the whole sleeve, I, dude. I, I love one, and I'm, at this point, who knows, but... Like, can you not see Mike with the sleeve? I love the idea of, like, I think your buddy Brad was doing it, mm-hmm. like, full sleeve, and then, like, using your skin as part of the artboard and, like, leaving some exposed parts. Yeah. Like, you have a full sleeve, and then you have, like, two bands here, and this <coughs> part is just, like, just your skin. But, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. I, I mean, feel like that would day. make you look like kind of like more, much more interesting yeah Not, you no, know I mean, it, yeah, you would look true. at mikey and be like what's his deal <laughs> <laughs> Who is I, I already wonder that at this point yeah it's like the older i get like the more fresh the tattoos will look when i'm older older so i mean that's the only thing i have that's the only thing i have going for my you got any tattoos oh i just want them to look fresh when i uh i don't want my grandkids making fun of me for having crusty tattoos (laughs) yeah yeah when did people start getting tattoos like how long Indi- ass time ago. Like Native so, Americans. Yeah, right, but like back. I think fucking Egyptians and yeah. stuff like that. I, I wish I had the answer to that, but I think it's way back. I think that's what but makes- like I'm talking like sleeves. <laughs> I don't know. I think always. <laughs> oh really? We're well, like I guess, tribal tattoos. Yeah, think all of crazy. like in Hawaii and maybe you know, other tropical areas, they they're very like is that like 
based in Hawaii, where did tribal tattoos actually start? Like those just probably Native Americans, probably. But like whatever, I w- I don't even call it tribal, but the Hawaiian <laughs> tattoos are very distinct. You guys ever seen Moana? <laughs> yeah, Mike, Mike gets a full on Hawaiian tattoo. No, I would look so well. Just it wouldn't be right for me. That's for sure. There is some tattoos that look better with like muscles, like. Some, you yeah. know, <laughs> no, like, totally. Like, yeah, the, yeah, rock, the, one, the yeah, rock's got yeah, that. Yeah, that's one. like what I picture. <laughs> like, can you, imagine, like, if you, you know, Andrew Tate's <laughs> big, big one that goes across. Yes. This, like what if Mike got that? If I'm just flat. Like I got no pecs for nothing. Little bit of a gut. And if I got that, <laughs> little bit of a gut. So like, what's funny. this guy's deal? Oh, like maybe man. one day he used to be fit. Yeah. And welcome back. <laughs> CJ Lotzer. Dude, I feel bad. That was hot. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That was really Dude, hot. Are you good? My mouth is on fire still. Oh, oh, really? It's not nearly as bad. Like, I was pacing oh. down there, but... Did you did you yak? Yeah. Oh, wow. man, that sucks. Yeah, I threw up and everything. I'm it tasted so terrible. Stoked that it tasted me. so bad. At, at first, I, it was like a sneak attack. I put it in because yeah, I'd done it before. Maybe it was because I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> when I put it in, oh, my gosh, it was like... It tasted just like a weird tasting gummy bear at first. Sorry, my mouth is still so hot. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, poor kid. That was bad. It still is bad. I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. I knew I, I had it right away. I didn't. You did. Because there was like, a little no, hole don't. poked in mine. Oh. So I was like, it's they injected, injected something probably, yeah. in. Yeah. I'm That's surprised totally you didn't. That, uh, that shows how honest you are. I would have probably just been like, this is for sure it, and plopped it's that on the table for Evan. Evan. <laughs> <laughs> Evan would have been so, like... We call him up here. <laughs> he comes <laughs> up. Evan was like definitely expecting it to be him. Yeah. He's like, what? When you went to film, he's just like, I'm like, I was like guaranteed that it was me because like, why else would you frantically call me in here and give me a gummy bear? And also Ken thought that too because he's like, I've been set up so many times, but we, we've we never set you up to make it be you. Uh, I don't know if that's true at all. Oh, have we? I don't know I if think, that's yeah. true, but but I oh, sure. I agree. Never mind. Sorry, <laughs> I take that back. We have. I agree most of the time. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I have it. Somebody <laughs> else has. <laughs> Maybe I just showing my cards. How do we get Ken to eat the gummy bear that one time? Um, I just plopped I think, it down. It was like yeah. little nitro, world's hottest gummy bear. Yeah. What was the? Oh, remember that one time when I bowl. set the? No, I that was for you. Bowls yeah, of candy you. out. No, that was just for whoever. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah but and, Ryan uh, got it. Yeah, why did Ken eat it? Why did you eat he it? He lost some bed oh, or something. It, Ken placed it on someone else's, but yeah. And that's when he drank the vodka milk. Dude, it's the Snapchat profile picture of Ken. Really? Oh, yeah, he's looking off into, gosh. into the distant land. Oh, that's right. When when the sirens go off yeah. and it's on his face. That was one thing that was really fun about the old shop. Like, there was so many good memories there, but... Maybe this wasn't even at this the old shop. Okay, but I I do remember like times at the old shop being in that little kitchen. We that were was so confined vibes. together. It yeah. was just like stuff was always happening. We we're always dancing on top of the desk because yeah, you that really, we all shared. Well, we were like, drinking a lot more. <laughs> we were drinking a lot more then because <laughs> you really couldn't be in there without if you and someone else were in there, you like had to vibe together. You, yeah, there was, you, no, there was not enough space to feel alone. Yeah, <laughs> what? Well, you know how it is. Yeah, like, in, I'm picturing you two in the they're, kitchen. Vibing. Dude, Ryan and I vibe together. I have so many snap memories. Silent, of, <laughs> but they're both like... Popping. <laughs> I have so many funny snap stories just from that little kitchen living room office alone. A million. Alone. It's so funny. My favorite, I'll pop it up right here, is when CJ goes, If I catch you smoking that thing... <laughs> I will be living. <laughs> I think you're imitating somebody's mom or yeah. a, a mom in general, but oh god damn, that was funny. Uh, uh, all right, I have a really funny story that I'm pretty excited to tell. It uh, is another uh, assisted living nursing home story. Okay. <laughs> so you know it's gonna be good. Uh, so my grandpa chilling in the assisted living. My mom's new husband. Went to go visit him. I don't know if he's dropping him off, picking him up, whatever, but he's there. And my grandpa, apparently he has, they have um like their supper or just eating buddies. It kind of stinks that they, I'm sure they can sit with other people if they want to, but like assigned 
that buddy. Sucks. Oh, really? This, this a sign? Dude, yeah, yeah. It's like this dude, I'm sure it's hard for people to communicate. I know, it's there. tough. It's like yeah, they're just but it's like the same like twice a day, just like silently kind of sitting. I mean, they talk whatever. But Kermit guy, his his, uh, his name's Kermit. Yep, his name's Kermit. His uh-huh. uh, supper dinner buddy. He. <laughs> Uh, he's known him for a long time, which makes it funny. You know, they both grew up like in the same town and he likes to, I just preface this. He likes to poke fun at Kermit for not remembering stuff, <laughs> which, Classic. Like, which is so funny. And, yeah. Kermit says he's going to take his imaginary girlfriend to Texas. And I said, well, <laughs> when are you fly? Oh, yeah. He's schizophrenic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then my grandpa was like, when you dude, fly. Gr- Typical dude, Sandman. Dude. Typical Sandman. Just, like, Mike, just, just putting them dick. in their place. Just a dick. Typical Fucking Sandman. Kermit. Making fun Asshole. of him. Asshole. <laughs> Thinks his dead wife is alive. No, what an idiot. No, no. <laughs> No, like, oh, you're gonna take Mary to the army ball? Mike is like, hey, Grandpa, tomorrow at <laughs> lunch, make sure you kick him in the nuts really hard about something super personal. Uh, Put him down. Yeah. So, but I mean, I guess the only reason he's able to do that, and I think that it's somewhat okay, is that he's <laughs> also losing his memory. You know, if he was just like t- quick witted and, and all there, it'd be really mean. <laughs> but he's so. <laughs> so this actually doesn't have anything to do with my grandpa besides that him and Kermit are homies. But every day when they eat, uh, Kermit thinks that someone's paying for his meals. You know, when you uh, start to forget a lot, I think a lot of guys, <coughs> get they get worried where their money is. Mm-hmm. You know, where's my money? I got money. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I got money, right? And so he ends every meal and is like, my meals are free. Like, are you got who's paying for your guys? It's like, who's paying for mine? Is is what I wonder. So I'm gonna, this, basically, he's accusing people of picking up his tab <laughs> that doesn't exist. I got money. <laughs> yeah, you don't even be paying for me. It's Listen, ex- man, it's exactly take like it offensive. That. Yeah, and so he apparently accused this one guy so many times because there's only like you know <laughs> eight dudes. Yeah, there. ten people total in the room, and uh, the guy got so upset that he kept accusing him of paying for his food that. He walked over while Kermit was watching TV one one evening and just bopped him. What? Yes. What? yes. <laughs> Nursing home fight yes. club. And and then what? Uh, like how hard? Enough to make him bleed. Nice. He punched another member. Yeah. I can't imagine that's good and for, for your picking rep. up his tab. I you know I'm no, sure they big mad at Kermit. Yeah yeah yeah. He was mad at Kermit. Wait, who got punched? The Kermit, Kermit. Did, because oh. Kermit was accusing oh. other homie of picking up, of being like, dude, stop paying for my food, which is just, uh, there maybe is more Tried to it. knocking some sense into him. But uh, yeah, so my mom's new husband was there, watched it go down. No. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. And so my favorite part is then the CNA, those girls or guys don't get paid enough to deal <laughs> no. with that. The best part is, since they don't get paid enough to deal with that, they didn't. They just were like... <laughs> They, the one girl says to the guy who sucker punched and said, what, let's just say his name is uh, Steve. Steve, I told you to come to me when you, when you get this angry. So clearly it was a problem from before. Steve's then, talked about this. And then to Kermit, they literally was just like, Hi, Kermit, you okay? Yeah. All right. Well, here's some paper towels. Uh, clean yourself up. Jeez. That's, that's what Holy he said. Shit. It's about how it went. I'm like, that is wild. What you know, like. Uh, can you imagine just it, the whole situation, seeing it, being Kermit, just being one of the CNAs? Like, yeah. Kermit like one, definitely The stole last that place guy's I'd girl. expect yeah. to get punched is in a nursing home. Right. To get punched. Dude. Yeah. I Let bet, alone sucker punched. I bet Mike's grandpa was like the instigator. And he, he, was, and he was like going behind and he was like, hey, so he has been paying for your meal. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't want you to know it to Kermit. And Kermit's like, I Knew it. Really? You know Kermit probably doesn't even like his name, but Mike's grandpa just gave it to him. <laughs> it's like poop stain. Mike's other neighbor or whatever. You you had just mean names for all your friends growing up, right? Not friends, but just acquaintances. <laughs> yeah, just, that's what's I should say words. victims. Hey, poop stain. There was this little kid growing what? up that lived but next to my buddy Dylan's house, and then I would always roll over to Dylan's, and sometimes he wouldn't be there. But Corbin was outside, and I'd roll poop up to him, and I go, and I go, I don't. That's what. Dylan called him. So, I go, <laughs> so you call him what? Poop stain Corbin. <laughs> but keep in mind, I'm like 13, 14, and poop stain Corbin is like six. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Did poop stain Corbin earn his name? No. 
that's the other never even had a poop stain never that's kind of once yeah i mean never once had an issue with poop or stains or anything and then i just you being 14 and him being six supposed to make the story better better, for you or worse better because it's funnier Oh, I wasn't sure if you were like justifying. No, it. No, like, no, no. <laughs> Sounds to me like you were picking on a child. Yeah. No, I guess it, in a roundabout way, I definitely was. After that, I was like, yo, I'd always ask him, where's Dylan? And he'd be like, I don't know. He's your friend. Go over to his house and check. I just saw him. But then I would have. I, <laughs> I right, poop stain. Don't give me the attitude. <laughs> All right, you little nerd. Give him a wedgie and hit the road. <laughs> <laughs> dude it's just fun like messing with like as in at the end of the day Bowling all people? i did sure but all i did was call him poop stain corbin never beyond that actually try explaining that him. to the principal mike mike true we weren't even in the same school i was in high school it was just- <laughs> <laughs> good thing you didn't grow up in today's time mike <laughs> yeah true i'd get canceled would you <laughs> i think you'd be in the know, principal's probably. office dude no i was already I'm in sure the principal's they office stuff. oh really yeah. For what? I Calling mean, people poop stain Corbin or other names? Yeah, I mean, did you act? Did you get in trouble as a kid? Yes, but not like a lot. Not where they would look at me and go, "Dude, of course he's in there." They, I didn't quite get to that point or anything. Like, oh yeah, I mean, obviously he's in there. He's in there every other day. It was like probably, uh, you know, once or twice uh, a semester would grab a good detention. Like really? good, just a solid detention for like mouthing off or something. Classic. Just, yeah, just somewhere like tipped over Checks the edge. Out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Checks yeah. out. That Definitely totally makes sense. Yeah, or like one time we got detention for. I was told this before, but this is just straight up bullying. When like, <laughs> we were running crushers, and then this this dude ran all funny. Not that he, he didn't have any disabilities or anything. He just ran funny. So we ran. He's like, just dumb. We just ran like him, and <laughs> the gym teacher was just like. He caught on right away and was like, if you're going to make fun of him, you're out of here. So our whole squad, four of us, got detention. Did you guys run like that to detention? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. When I think back to, like, the kids that used to get bullied, that would obviously just give a little bit of a reaction enough to, like, have, like, the cool kids just keep doing it to get, like, a yeah, laugh out of all their friends. You don't want to give a reaction. You don't want to give a reaction. But, man, I, I actually I do really feel bad about I, actually, I never bullied these kids, but I did, also I didn't stick up for them because then it's like you're sticking up against like all the cool kids and shit Can too. But actually, wrap it back to Facebook. I know what some of them are like up to now just because from being like Facebook friends with them. I see that. And I'm like, man, would they have turned out different if they wouldn't have like gotten bullied? But so you feel like you fully set them off on the wrong path. I wasn't, like, the one bullying. I wasn't being, like, Mike, but I also wasn't, like, sticking up for him, so maybe. <clears throat> and I guess it's tough because, like, maybe, like, most of the people that I gave a hard time to, I could see now and be like, what's up? Uh, and we're, like, having a normal conversation. <laughs> we're having a normal what's conversation. What's up, poop stain? <laughs> like, I guess none of, the, none of the people, I guess, that I ever poke fun at are turned out as shitheads, like, to be honest, that, that I can think of. Actually, I take don't. that back. Um... We had one uh, buddy. He was one of my best friends but that we, like, really bullied. Well, I, yeah, I was like, we don't have to say his name, but I was like, there's one person, one person that I saw you pick on. Other than that, you, you really didn't. But there's one person. <laughs> I feel like there's a difference, And I was though. impressed at, at, at what your line was of <laughs> stopping, which was really far. I you, feel like just when like, you're one of, like, the best friends, like, one of my best homies still to this day, yeah. but, like, would just give that good reaction. It's different, and, though, when it's your we buddy push it far. It's that you yeah. hang out with. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah, some very kid different. that's off on his own at, in the lunchroom. They're yeah, totally two different. You're, like, your friend who you invite and hang out with and play sports with or do whatever with. You know, big difference. Yeah, we were dicks. Yeah. I, I will say, though, when you're in, like, high school – you just, you just don't, don't know. Yeah, you don't yeah. fully have a good grasp. You don't of realize, like, yeah. People's... So like, you can't hold that against them. Because I had when I had a really bad concussion in high school, there was kids calling yeah, me a really. pussy and all this. Yeah. And like, honestly, like, I was pretty mad about it. Even like, probably like a year or two after. But now I look back, I'm like, God, you're just still. It seems like you're old, but you're not. Yeah. You're still like, yeah. you just don't know. And like, even right now, we don't know. But like. Back then in high school, if you're in high school, you just don't know. You so. know even less. 
Yeah, you know even less. So. so what's the excuse with Mike? Because Grandpa making fun of his buddy for remembering his dead wife. Th- this is Martin some Taylor that, that statement was astronomically <laughs> something. <laughs> but yeah, right. You might have just made that one up. Oh yeah, roll with it. Kermit's just like reminiscing about taking no, his wife he, to the he, ball. He thinks he one of army. he thinks one of the CNAs is his girlfriends. He reminds. Well, maybe it is, dude. <laughs> maybe it, yeah, maybe she just doesn't want with, people knowing or something. But he's tapping it. He said they're going <laughs> on the low. Just a young, <laughs> just a young like twenty four year old girl. Imagine <laughs> dating like sounds knowing so scary. that girl. Sounds Isn't great for him, like, dude. Oh, he's probably loving it. Like yeah, no, no money, no house, no nothing to really. I mean, I shouldn't say no money, but. No, no, I'm like nothing to provide. Don't tell him he has no money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, next time Mike walks in, he fucking sucker punches Mike. Dude, okay, this is so messed up, and I obviously wouldn't do it, but it's just something as subtle as like seeing him next time. I, yeah, I go in there and eat with them every once in a while if it's the right time. And if I was like, Kermit, how do you feel about me picking up your meals the last couple of weeks? <laughs> That is Mike's assholeism <laughs> in a statement right there. Yeah. He goes, ah, this, this old man. Oh, that's man. funny. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, should we wrap it up? Yeah. yeah. Good times. Good to be back. Good to have you healthy. Good to have everyone healthy. So, Good to be uh, back. Yeah, you guys saw a little tweak of Evan there for, what, a minute? So if you subscribe... You want more of them, yeah. yeah. Man, we are really hyping him up. He better be good when he comes up. He's going to open his so mouth. Fun. He swears. <laughs> he swears he's going to say something. He's going to oh, say some God. really, really good stuff. <laughs> I thought you were just like... Really good stuff. He's going to open his mouth, and he's going to swear. Like, you're going to want to hear it. So, maybe even watch him say it. So, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for next week. Thank you for listening. Oh, fuck. He said, he said he's going to say it. <laughs> <laughs>